Hi, many beginner motion designers usually show objects in their work in a very simple way like this. But this is very clumsy and stereotypical. In this video, I want to teach you how you can do this like an actual professional so you can make your animations more interesting. In this process, you will learn how to use squash and stretch in your animations as well as how to make a bouncy animation using expressions. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so I can make even better videos for you. Ok, without further ado, let's start. Well, I made this gift before by the shape in After Effects. So I select the bow layers and parent them to the box. I select the box and because I want to make the squash and stretch animation for it, I move its anchor point to the bottom of the box. I move it below using the pen behind tool. Then I open the scale and create a keyframe here and set it to 0. After 7 frame, I set it to 100. Then I open the position and create a keyframe here. And after 7 frames, I move the box down and put it on the floor. Alright, since I want to make the squash and stretch animation for the object using expression, I go back by 2 frames. Then I disable the chain icon and set the X to 80 and the Y to 120. Now I move on to the last keyframe and set this to 100 so it changes back to its initial state. I select all the keyframes and make them easy ins. Let's see how it looks. To add a bouncy effect to the animation, I have to use the bounce expression which I've put in the comment section below. For that I alt click on the stopwatch of the scale and paste the expression right here and overlap the position keyframes. I move them back by 2 frames. Let's see. To make the effects of the bounce expression more noticeable, I make the last keyframe linear. Now let's see it again. As you can see, it's so much better now. If you have an interest in After Effects and motion graphics and inspired to learn this skill basically and step by step, I recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.